Welcome back. We have uh, video two of Majestic 13 following the misadventures of the Majestic AF or Majestic Advanced Force. Uh, this time we have Operation Doppelganger Tomb. Let's get right into it. Time to start another game. So, this is scenario two from Majestic 13. And we rolled up all normal terrain. And what we got was uh, two small buildings here in this, this um, quarter. A large building, a small building, and another small building. Now I have also scattered, as you can see, and, and forgive me for not having uh, some of these painted, but um, I have not had time to fix these yet. But we've got some scattered terrain, some trees, some crashed vehicles and whatnot. Anyway, so we have, as I said, all, all normal terrain. Our enemy is a Telmax spawn. And I have chosen to use my Chaos spawn here that I have been using for Necromunda. So get a little closer here. This guy. Figured it, you know, it looks vaguely humanoid. So that is that. Our secondary objective is beacon drops, and there's one in each quarter. And I've used a couple of these uh, these guys. I got some terminals and some other shrines and stuff like that that I'm using as beacons here. Um, we our bureaucracy, unfortunately, we got plus one to the foobar roll. So this is it's, and it's called dangerous mission. So that's that's how that's our current setup. Um, so we're gonna face off against this Talmax spawn and and see how that goes. So uh, what we've got here, we have Tango on this side. We have the sniper here. We have Big Jim, and we have our medic, um, who is uh, Jonesy, and we have Phoenix, the boss, over here in the corner. So that's our that's our lineup, and we got our. Talmax spawn over on this side. So starting off, the Talmax spawn goes first. Um, it has a dexterity of 24, so it can most definitely move. And unfortunately for me, it uh, pretty much can move into anyone. And I think the closest Let's see, this guy's, oops, back it up. He's about five inches away. Yeah. <laughs> Closest, unfortunately, is going to be Tango. So Tango is going to uh, get a Talmax spawn on him. Man, these guys can move like crazy. All right, so that is, uh, that's what's going down. So the Talmax spawn, before we even get started, has um, quite a few hit points at 125. Um, it in extremis at 30, defensive 20, acuity of 19. Um, the uh, combat uh, is 22, dexterity 24, fortitude is 20, and psi of 18. Now it is a twisted creature, psionic. So whenever it suffers weapon a weapon attack. Uh, suffers additional d6 and all team members within 18 have to have to succeed in a fortitude stat check of 18 or suffer 2d6 damage which is ridiculous um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes cyanic hardening it reduces all damage from psionics by three um, it also clears one condition at the start of its activation so um, blinding it and whatnot is going to be less effective and its actions are basic psionic claws and psionic wave. Um, so basically, it's going to use psionic wave in its first turn. All en en enemies must within 12 must succeed on a dexterity stat check of 18 or suffer 3d6 and be blinded. And then next turn, it's going to use its claws, which are 46 plus 2 and a fortitude, or you do get an additional 2d6 damage. Super duper deadly. So, for our first attack, it is going to use Psionic Wave. So everyone within 12, which luckily is only going to be Tango and Big Jim. 
Oh, and the sniper. The sniper's going to be in there too. So we need to make a fortitude. So we'll start with uh, Phantom. His fortitude is 14. So that's going to be 21. So he's good. Now we'll do Tango. His fortitude is 12. Uh, he is good. That's going to be a um, 26. And then Big Jim, his fortitude is also 12. Oops. Uh, Big Jim, unfortunately, does take the hit. That's only 15. So it's going to be 2 or 3d6 and blinded. So here we go. Oops, shaking the camera. Let's not do that. Woo! All right. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. So that's going to be 11 damage for Jim. So starting off the round, it's going to be the boss man uh, because the boss man, his acuity is 17. And what is the boss man going to do? Okay, so this guy, he takes three less damage from psionics, but psionics don't, hmm, they don't cause him to psionically explode. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to start off with a, um, Psy Spike. So he has no cover because Psy Spike has no cover. So the boss is going to try Psy Spike. So it's going to be um, his psionics of 15. And then its defense is only 20. And that is a hit. So it's going to be 3d6 minus 3. So that's going to be 12, 13 damage. So 10 total. Now, what else are we going to do here? Um, next is going to be Jonesy. Now, Jonesy, he has psionic invisibility and healing. I could heal Jim. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to use psionic invisibility on Tango. So Tango can get out of dodge. So that's what I'm going to do for that. And then I'm also going to have Jonesy. Um, he's got plenty of move. I'm going to have him move over to this side here. Be a little further away. <clears throat> That's what we're going to do there. Now on to Phantom and Tango, who both have 12 for their acuity. Um, Phantom is not going to move. Yeah, he can see the guy. Okay, so it's going to be sniper rifle. So it's going to be 2d6 plus four, no cover. Uh, he can't move if he's going to if he's going to do the, ex the extra damage. Um, so we're going to do that. So his combat is 13. So here we go, 13. Uh, that is a total of 18, which, what is his defense? Nope, that is not enough, so he misses. Okay, um, all right, that's Jonesy, so Tango. Tango's dexterity is uh, 10. So I'm going to have him, oops, I'm going to have him move his full 10. And he is going to drop into cover over here, heading towards this objective. And now Big Jim. Um, Big Jim, oh, wait, you know what? I'm going to have him fire anyway, even though he and Big Jim are both within 18. Because this thing has a ton of hit points. Uh, Jonesy is now out of range. So he's going to fire at the Talmax spawn. Uh, his combat is, and this is Tango. Tango's combat is 10. So that's 19. That is not enough. All right. And then Big Jim is going to try and shake off a condition. So fortitude roll. That is a total of 17. So Big Jim fails. Um, he is here. Now, I don't see anything in here in the rules on whether you can move or not. Does not have any line of sight to any other model and fails any acuity check. So even though he's blind, he can looks like he can stumble around. His dexterity is only 10. So I'm going to have him stumble 
this way towards the dock. Woo! And uh, that is what we'll do right now. Now, it gets a second activation. And it is, no, Tango is invisible. So the next closest is going to be the sniper. And it has plenty, plenty of movement to head over to the sniper. Ooh, cripes. I keep dropping stuff. So it's going to walk over and it's going to uh, take a stab at the sniper. Now, um, Phantom's dexterity is, uh, well, it's not, I mean, not his dexterity, his defense is 30. Its combat is 27, so pretty much it's almost guaranteed a hit. So here we go. Yep, that's an 11. So, I mean, I mean, there's there's really kind of no, oh, it's, I'm sorry, it's dexterity is 22, 22. So um, that would be a 33, which is enough to hit. So it's gonna smack the sniper for, Whoa, 4d6 plus 2, and you have to suffer a fortitude. So, 4d6. Oh, 14, 15, 16 to Phantom. Phantom 16. Okay, that was painful. Uh, <laughs> all right, and uh, Phantom has to make a fortitude save. That would be um, 18. Phantom's fortitude is 14. He's good, so he does not suffer the extra damage. So back around to the top. Uh, of course, it is going to go first. Tango is now visible. Phantom is, it, it has attacked Phantom. It is within range of, so it actually is going to go after someone it has not attacked yet. So it's got plenty to go over to Big Jim and it's gonna try and smack Big Jim. So combat of 22, uh, that is a 32. So, 4d6 to poor Big Jim. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, yeah, it's bad, but... So that's uh, 5, 8, 14, 14 to Big Jim. Okay, so the thing is, Big Jim has now lost 25 hit points. So Big Jim only has one hit point left. Wow, man, this thing hits like a truck. Okay, let's uh, pull out our view here. So Phantom, we've got a lot of different moves here. Um, the problem is this nothing is going to it, it can it uh, cures one condition at the beginning of each turn. I'm just gonna go for another size spike. So size spike, here we go. Uh, Sionix of 15. So that is enough. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we do 3d6 minus three. So that's 12, 14, so 11 total. So we've only barely scratched this thing, holy crap. Wrap. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what? It was gonna. It was supposed to use psionic wave during its last action because it didn't use it during the beginning. Now I don't know. During the last activation, it will use that action. Yeah, it was. It was supposed to use psionic wave. All right. So uh, that is the boss, and the boss is over there, is in the corner over there. Um, so over here uh, this is the boss so Phoenix now we're gonna go with the medic Jonesy who is here um, Jonesy actually let's move the boss too. Uh, the boss moves 
16. So he is going to move over here, heading towards this secondary objective. Uh, Jonesy is going to move to come into contact with this secondary objective, and he is going to heal Big Jim. So it's going to be healing uh, 2d6. Total, oh, only four, okay. Big Jim is currently at five hit points. Uh, he is not gonna survive if he gets smacked again. Um, hmm, okay. So that's Jonesy. Uh, Phantom, Phantom is actually not gonna move. Phantom is in contact with the secondary objective already down here. So he's gonna take another shot at this guy um, regardless. Oh no, but the th thing is, it, it's going to explode. We got to do it. We got to do it. This thing's got to go down. So, um, his combat is 13. Uh, that is a hit. So, 2d6 plus 4. Not bad. Not bad at all. 16 points of damage. Now, <clears throat> it is going to suffer an additional d6 for two. Oh, I didn't do my foobar roll. I knew I forgot something. Additional two. Okay, let's do the foobar roll. Foobar plus one, five. Okay, we're good. This round, foobar, or yeah, foobar this round. Nope. So that's still five. Okay, no foobar yet. We are going to hit a foobar because we're at a plus one. So I'm fairly certain that's going to happen at some point. Okay, uh, so that's our foobar rolls. Um, wow. Tango. Tango is going to move into contact with this objective. And he is going to... Oh, sonic explosion. Sorry, hold on. Sonic explosion. All team members within 18 must suffer, must uh, succeed on a fortitude of 18. So let's do Big Jim first since he's the closest. His fortitude is 12. That's good. Uh, then the sniper. Ooh. Uh, oh, that's just enough. Just barely enough. Holy crap. And then Jonesy's fortitude is 11. He is good. So nobody suffers the fortitude hit. Um, that, so that's Tango. Tango's going to take a shot. And that's going to be a 9 plus his combat of 10, 19. That is not enough to hit. It's 22 required. So Big Jim is going to try and shake off the blindness. Ah, oh, just barely not enough. Okay. Mm, Big Jim still can't target it. So, <laughs> I mean, he's going to move his 10, but it's not really going to help him any. All right. So, on its turn, it is going to use Sonic Wave. So, everybody within 18 must do a Fortitude. So, start with poor Big Jim. 12. Yep, he's good. Uh, Tango is not in range. Phantom is in range. Phantom's fortitude is 14. Uh, he's good. Mm. Uh, and I think the... Oh, Jonesy. No, I dirt. Yeah. No, I already rolled her. No, I rolled for Phantom. Okay. Uh, Jonesy is good. Okay, so that is that. Wait, no, 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 I rolled a four. Nope, Jonesy takes the hit. Oh, no. Jonesy takes the hit. So, 3d6 damage and blinded. Four, seven, eight. That is eight to Jonesy. And he is blinded. Oh, God, I have two people blinded. <laughs> All right, so that's, um, that's the end of that round.
This game is super fast and furious. I mean, it's crazy. So the Talmax spawn, uh, he is over here. And let's see, the one with the lowest hit points right now within uh, range. Let's see, his weight, the way he's go, he's a monstrosity. Um, so within, if he's within one inch of an, an enemy has an attack, he is not. He is not within one inch, one inch of anybody, so he was, is within moving distance of several enemies. And the closest is going to be the medic. Yep, the medic. So he's going to move into the medic and take a stab at the take a take a stab at the medic. So combat of twenty-two, and he misses. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh boy. Okay, cool. That's good. That's good. All right. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We did it again. Uh, that's going to be... Yep, we got our foobar roll finally. All right, time to roll for foobar. All right, our foobar roll is a seven. One to seven is civilians. Civilians have become aware of your mission. There's no immediate impact. Uh, as they see the fight, they quickly leave. Your team, however, has not maintained the secrecy of, secrecy of Majestic 13 and loses out on bonuses. Okay, so I got my foobar was civilians. Okay, well, that sucks. All right, so it's already gone. Uh, we're gonna move to the boss. The boss is gonna move his, oh yeah, he's got plenty of movement. He's actually gonna come into contact with this here. He is going to take a psionic stab at this thing. Oh, that is that's enough. All right, so we get three d six damage minus three. Uh, all right, so that's going to be um, nine points of damage. Wait, no, I'm sorry, that's 12, 14, so eleven points of damage total to it. Next up is Jonesy. Uh, Jonesy is going to go ahead and heal. Ooh, uh, Jim is. Yeah, Jim is the most hurt still. So we're going to heal Big Jim. 2d6, 4. Man, that is a crappy roll. So Big Jim has 9 total hit points. And. We're going to get the hell out of Dodge, too. Um, his dexterity is 13. And keeping in mind, as I said earlier, this is all normal movement. So he's going to move 13 out here. He's done his heal. And what's next? What's next? Uh, we got Phan Phantom is up next. Phantom is going to stay where he's at. And he's going to take a shot at this guy again. Uh, Phantom's con combat is 13. That is enough. All right, so we get three or 2d6 plus four. So seven plus an extra d6. So that's going to be 12 plus four is 16. <clears throat> All right, and it's going to psionically explode. So fortitude save for everyone within 18, which is, I think everybody over here. Yeah, the boss, Jim, and the medic. Um, and oh, Phantom is just out of reach. So we have here, um, the boss man is over here still. We got Big Jim, Medic, the Spawn, um, Phantom is back here behind the camera, and then Tango. So, uh, so Phantom does not get it, but uh, so we'll start with the boss first. His fortitude is 16, so he is good. Jonesy, fortitude 11, he is good. And Big Jim, fortitude 12, he is good. Okay, all right. 
Um, so Jonesy is now in, or shoot. Okay, Jonesy would have shaken off his um, his blinded. Uh, I forgot to shake off his blinded. So uh, Tango, Tango is in con contact with this thing, so we're good. We've got our secondary objectives. Um, Tango is going to go ahead and take a shot at him again because Tango really doesn't have anything else he can do. So his combat is 10. Nope, that's not enough. And then Big Jim is going to try and shake off um, uh, his Big Jim, Big Jim, Big Jim. Um, yeah, that's enough. Good. So Big Jim is not blinded anymore. Okay. Uh, Jim is going to move his 10 out to here to get out of range because he is hurt and he is going to shoot a grenade launcher so he is it, the grenade launcher is minus four but he does have the target assist which gives him a plus two so he is at a net of minus two his combat is 15 he does plus one damage because of that so that is plenty enough to hit um, so 3d6 plus 1. Oh, 4d6 plus 1 because it takes extra damage. Ah, so it's going to be 12 and 16, 17 points of damage. 17. So the uh, spawn is not in extremis. Uh, everybody that is within range, which is the boss and Jonesy, uh, the boss man, Phantom, makes his fortitude. Oops, he is good. Jonesy, and Jonesy is good as well. So, it is going to do its second activation. And what is it going to do? So, this thing has a movement of 24. It has not attacked Phantom yet, so it's going to run over here and attack Phantom. Um, Phantom and Jonesy are in both in range, but if I'm reading this the the way it acts right, um, it's got the ones within movement movement distance. Um, actually, it looks like it would probably go after Jonesy because Phantom has not been hit yet. Jonesy has less hit points, so it's going to go after Jonesy. So Jonesy, and its combat is 22. Uh, that is not enough to hit Jonesy. Okay. Uh, we've already done our foobar. It pretty much gets to activate again. Hmm. Well, it's going to do its psionic wave. Um, so everybody within 12 inches has to do a... Oh, I've been doing Fortitude, actually. It's a dexterity check for the Psionic Wave. So I made that mistake at the beginning. So Phoenix and Jones are the only two in range. Phoenix's dexterity is 16. Uh, ooh, and he is good. Jonesy's is 13. He is good as well. Okay. So uh, that rolls around to the boss man. And the boss man is still here. Phoenix. Uh, we're going to roll another psionic attack for him. Uh, that is... His psionics are 15. So that is just enough. Actually, one point over. So 3d6. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Okay. It's next activation. It is going to be an extremis. Which is... Not good for me, but if I can chip it down enough, that 2d6 might kill it. So the boss is gone. Jonesy. Jonesy, Jonesy, Jonesy. What are you going to do? Your dexterity is 13. You are going to get the hell out of there. And he is going to come back here behind this. Let's pull the, pull the camera back here. Jonesy is back here now. And he is going to take a shot. Uh, one. That is a miss. <laughs> Regardless of anything that may happen. Jonesy, you're just not on your game, buddy. Alright, so Phantom. 
combat of 13. That is enough. All right. So we're going to do 2d6 plus 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 160, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170